the defendant is guilty of first degree murder. A verdict reached in the retrial of Catherine McBanwa, the woman accused of involvement with the murder of FSU law professor Dan Markell. This news breaking in just the last two hours. I'm Channing Frampton. Now at 11, ABC 27's Micah Cho joins us live outside the courthouse where that verdict was read. Micah, can you walk us through the charges and what the jury came back with? Yeah, Channing, so after almost eight hours of deliberations, the jury came back with guilty on first degree murder, guilty on conspiracy to commit murder, and guilty on solicitation to commit murder. Now you're looking at a video of a very emotional Catherine McBanua as Judge Robert Wheeler read that verdict just hours ago. Behind her, Dan Markell's family. Talking with them outside of the courtroom, they told me they won't have full closure until everyone involved is held accountable. For now, though, this verdict is going to provide them with some comfort tonight. A lot of relief. There's a lot of satisfaction. Um, you know, it's hard to say I'm thrilled and pleased to see, you know, um, you know, someone go to jail. But it is the right step in the right direction. And we really are, um, you know, really happy to see the progress um, towards justice. Again, this is the second time Catherine McBanoa has been on trial for her involvement in Dan Markell's murder. Her first trial ended in a hung jury. Georgia Kappelman, who is the assistant state attorney, says they believe the enhanced audio of McBanoa and Charlie Adelson, Markell's former brother-in-law, meeting in a South Florida restaurant is what made all the difference this time around. I think it was very helpful, even though we can't really make out much, much at all of what she's saying in the video, it's still important to be able to hear what Charlie Adelson is saying to her and the tacit admission, admissions that she's making by, you know, basically refusing to get up and storm out when she hears some of the words that are coming out of his mouth. We also reached out, we also reached out to Catherine McBanawa's attorneys. We haven't heard back as of now. Channing? Well, Micah, obviously this was a night full of emotions. What happens next for Catherine McBanwa? Well, Judge Robert Wheeler said that today she's going to go undergo pre-sentence investigation prior to her sentencing. However, her sentencing isn't expected to take place for another 30 days. For now, live in Tallahassee, Micah Cho, ABC 27.